Right, hello. Good morning, uh, YouTube. It's uh, Mr. Mother Three Ten here. Uh, just recorded this video uh, to my phone. Thought it was a video. Turned out it was a. Uh, it was a photo. It's been a. It's not going well today, as, as you can imagine. Um, yes. Anyway, today I will be smoking this this absolute beast. I've not smoked it in a while. Um, it's an absolutely massive chamber in it. Um, I'm going to try and see if we can get you to see it. Uh, no, no I can't. Uh, it's not going to switch around, but... If I, can, I can fit my thumb in it and there's still quite a gap in there. It's uh, quite a hefty height. Quite heavy, It's not. I can't advise... Uh, Getting something this big and trying to clench it. It's uh it can be done, but it's quite heavy. Um gonna be smoking in it some Canadian maple and hopefully I might try and give it a review in this pipe. Uh I've smoked in a few of my pipes and it's it's alright, yeah, I quite like it. It's my first sort of a uh, proper American well, a blend from America anyway. Um from Stephen Brooks, House of Calabash, said that correctly anyway. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to pack it, give it a smoke. It's about a two hour pipe this one, so I'll probably come uh, do a video of it, two or three clips of this, so I'm going to test my video editing skills to the max. Um, not made a video in a while, um, been trying to sort out some uh, decent camera and ability to edit, uh, edit videos. So I tried doing a video earlier and editing it. Uh, the editing went quite well. The recording was appalling because I was sitting at my desk, which is here, and as you can see, I've got a window, which is there, and I've not got a light, which I need over there, so it's quite dark. Um, so I'll swivel around a bit. So I might end up moving my desk around a little bit so I can record videos sitting at it um, and give it a clean as well. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, right, so I'll, I'll, I'll pack this and get back to you shortly. Right, take number two. I've now got the pipe lit after a few attempts. Due to the uh, sort of damage to the bowl, it's a bit of a nightmare. But, um, It's uh, smoking the best so far on this pipe. I think it's the uh, lovely church warden stem I've got on here. So uh, this is my cherry wood pipe anyway. By the way, I've got uh, another one which is a uh, a little bit smaller with a wing cover, and then if we just spin around, I've got a baby one. That's, that's uh, tiny compared. Absolutely minuscule. But can definitely taste the um, uh, the maple a lot more. It's a lot. A lot more fragrant. It's um, when reading the description of it, I, I, I was tempted with it because it's uh, described as an aromatic, but uh, almost a non-aromatic. Because uh, apparently, um, a lot of people who's, who have tried it thought didn't think it was aromatic. Which I can understand because it's not as a uh, sweet or overpowering as some of the other ones I've tried um, and it act for, for a change from most of the aromatics I've had it smokes quite nice, it tastes like it's supposed to now I smoked the the other sort of big aromatic I've had is uh, going to be the Peterson's 2011 Special Reserve now that, and I've, I've smoked a coffee one I've had uh, I 
Irish cream. I've had quite a few different ones. Um, not they're not really screamed out to me. They've all smelled lovely in the uh, the pouch or the tin, uh, but smoking them not going very well. The only one that's been amazing besides this one now, I've, got, I've had a Colombian coffee. It smoked very similar to the way it smelt as well, which I was quite impressed with. But um, it's not quite coffee. But it does go well with a cup of coffee in the morning, though. Anyway, very nice. Um, I haven't smoked this pipe in a long time. Probably this is the third time since I got it. Um, when I did buy it, I uh, smoked it, cleaned it out a bit, but uh, developed a little crack in it. But luckily, it's not gone all the way through. So. smoke very nicely. Now I got a comment I noticed today anyway um, on one of my, my, my first cigar video about someone wanting to uh, let me do some more cigar reviews or cigar well I don't really review anything at the moment I'm not really good enough but chatting about or smoking a cigar. Now quickly got this humidor off uh, the internet, I don't know if you can see that very well. With content as well, which is very nice. I've only added, these were gifted to me, uh, Villager and a 4x4 was gifted to me, but uh, he may want that one back. Um, but uh, it's going alright. Uh, changed the uh, human escalation system and the agrometer. High, high, high um, Basically, I had, did have. If I can find it somewhere. Sorry, did have an Oasis stuff in it, which is nasty. Really don't like this stuff. Um, just in any use for it whatsoever. I think it's horrible. Um, got those these little. Uh, I've got them as well. The little um, pads. Uh, they've got the. Uh, crystals in it, um, same material as sort of crystal, but in a pad form. And I was quite surprised at how big it got, considering that's how thin. That's two pads in there, left, and it has filled that thickness and popping out the end of it. But uh, seems to be holding its humidity very well. Did have it in the, and kept it in a drawer, and uh, it didn't like that, so had to take it out. Uh, I've got some mystery cigars in here as well. I've got two cigars of these. Punched out at the bottom. Very nice colour and wrapper. Um, my initial thought was possibly three by threes. Obviously, four by four, three by three next to it. Um, got two of those. Got a longer one, which looks very similar. Similar thickness, just longer. And I got another one, which is in the bottom, which is falling apart a little bit, but can't get it out. Um, the person who previously owned this obviously liked their mild cigars, because I've got quite a lot of these Alhambra. Uh, mild Sumatran. Uh, did I have a? I've got. I think I've got two King Edwards uh, Phillies. And I've had one of these. Very sweet a wrapper. I thought I didn't didn't know anything about them beforehand, so they're going to be when I if I go ever go out a night out with a cigar. I'll probably take one of those with me. Uh, Dutch Master, not heard of that before, going to give that a go, and La Paz Tabaca, Tabacos Primereros, so that one looks quite interesting, it's a bit of a darker wrapper on it, it's quite nice. Uh, 
Brevas. Not heard that one before. And uh, uh, Antonio and Cleopatra. I've got a few of these ones. I've had one of those before. I thought it was alright, to be honest. Uh, so we're close, closing the lid on this now. Um, uh, I prefer my sort of uh, bigger ring gauge cigars. Um, just for flavour, really. Uh, I last a bit longer as well. Um, and also the fact that, you know, I'm not exactly a dainty fellow, so holding a, a little a little cigar doesn't really uh, look quite right. Hence me having big pipes. A recent acquisition, which I did make a video of before, we were doing practically editing, and it went horribly wrong, um, was this little fella. A little uh, jambo sort of a sitter, poker. Not entirely sure what the shape is particularly because it's got a bit of a curved bottom on it but it sits quite nicely and then the sides go in a little bit. But it's got a nice big uh, chamber. Sorry. Not had a cup of coffee yet today. It's been, uh, it's been uh, detoxing off it. So yeah, that was a uh, video of the day. Also going to be putting up another video hopefully today or tomorrow um, uh, of an aquaponics system I created courtesy of a uh, Sturgy Farts inspiration and uh, also looking forward to meeting the Dagners uh, they're coming to Pipe Club on June the 4th for the uh, our little uh, Jubilee one and uh, hopefully they're going to enjoy themselves. Right, I'll get back to this and do a bit of more review when I've actually smoked some of it because there's a lot of way to go. Right, catch you later guys. Right, back again. Um, i smoked a little bit more of this now and in the pipe. It's going on very nicely. It's getting um, getting quite a marzy panny almondy sort of um, aftertaste at the moment with it. Nice sort of florally uh, maple kick to begin with and then there's a bit of a yeah, marzipan almond taste so I really hope I'm not getting cyanide poisoning at the moment but it makes me fancy a Battenberg. <sighs> oh right Finished it now, eventually. Um, very good smoke, actually. Um, sorry, let's get the lighting right. Um, the uh, only one problem I've got with it is the uh, size of the bowl for that pipe, anyway. But uh, I think definitely in the Church Warden, which I'm looking to buy, uh, that'll smoke lovely. Um, yeah, love cherrywood pipes, love them. Uh, Love the look of them as well. Just, just, just bark on it, everything. I mean, that's got a stem mouthpiece or one bit as well, but it comes out there. But um, yeah, Canadian maple, very nice with a you know, church warden, I imagine. So hopefully, I'll be picking one of them up uh, before Nottingham Pipe Club, anyway. So, right, I'm just going to try and put this video all together in one piece and uh, see how it goes. Right, cheers for that, guys. <laughs>